हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू करंट अफेयर एमसीक्यूज प्रोग्राम लेट्स बिगिन विद प्रीवियस डेज प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वाज इट हैज बिकम द गोल ऑफ पब्लिक पॉलिसी इन मेनी कंट्रीज सिंस इट्स इंसेप्शन इन 2012 दिस मैट्रिक हैज डिवाइज्ड अ रोबस्ट मेथड टू मेजर एंड कैलकुलेट इट दिस मैट्रिक इंक्लूड्स सिक्स वेरिएबल्स जीडीपी पर कैपिटा हेल्दी लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी एट बर्थ जेनेरोसिटी सोशल सपोर्ट freedom to make life choices and perception of corruption which matrix is talked about in the above passage world happiness report global innovation index social development index or green index the correct answer is option a world happiness report happiness measures have already become the goals of public policy in many countries happiness is no longer a subjective matter since its inception in 2012 The World Happiness Report has devised a robust method to measure and calculate it. The happiness matrix includes six variables: GDP per capita, healthy life expectancy at birth, generosity, social support, freedom to make life choices and perception of corruption. The happiness report of 2023 placed extra emphasis on trust and benevolence in crisis situations such as COVID-19. therefore option a is the correct answer now let's begin today's session first question is regarding mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act or manrega consider the following statements one it is one of the largest work guarantee programs in the world launched in 2005 by the ministry of rural development to the act mandates gram sabhas to recommend the works that are to be undertaken and at least 50% of the works must be executed by them to under it at least 2/3 of beneficiaries have to be women how many of the statements given above are correct only one only two all three or none the correct answer is option b only two manrega is one of the largest work guarantee programs in the world launched in 2005 by the ministry of rural development hence statement 1 is correct the primary objective of the scheme is to guarantee 100 days of employment in every financial year to adult members of any rural household willing to do public work related unskilled manual work the act mandates gram sabhas to recommend the works that are to be undertaken and at least 50% of the works must be executed by them hence statement 2 is correct at least 1/3 of beneficiaries have to be women hence statement 3 is not correct therefore option b is the correct answer next question is travel and tourism development index is released by which of the following world bank world economic forum world tourism organization or world trade organization the correct answer is option b world economic forum the travel and tourism development index 2021 is an evolution of the 15 year old travel and tourism competitiveness index series a flagship index of the world economic forum's platform for shaping the future of mobility this revised index serves as a strategic benchmarking tool for policy makers companies and complementary sectors to advance the future development of the travel and tourism sector by providing unique insights into the strengths and development areas of each country or economy to enhance the realization of sector potential and growth therefore option b is the correct answer next question is regarding the lychee cultivation across india consider the following statements One lychee thrives in equatorial climates. Two, Bihar alone accounts for nearly 40% of India's lychee production. Three, India ranks as the largest producer of lychee globally. How many of the above statements are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option A, only one. Lychee thrives in subtropical climates and prefers moist conditions. It grows best in regions with low elevation, up to an altitude of around 800 meters. and statement 1 is not correct bihar alone accounts for nearly 40% of india's lychee production bihar is followed by west bengal 12% and jharkhand 10% and statement 2 is correct india ranks as the second largest producer of lychee globally following china other significant lychee producing countries include thailand australia south africa madagascar and the united states and statement 3 is not correct therefore option a is the correct answer Next question is regarding inflation in India consider the following statements one cost push inflation occurs when the demand for goods and services exceeds their supply two demand pull inflation is driven by an increase in the production cost for goods and services 
pre the headline inflation figure is reported through the wholesale price index in india which of the statements given above is or are not correct 1 and 2 only 2 and 3 only 1 and 3 only or 1 2 and 3 the correct answer is option d 1 2 and 3 cost push inflation is driven by an increase in the production cost for goods and services this can be caused by factors such as increased incomes increased cost of raw materials or disruptions in the supply chain hence statement 1 is not correct demand pull inflation occurs when the demand for goods and services exceeds their supply when the overall demand in the economy is high consumers are willing to pay more for the available goods and services leading to a general rise in prices hence statement 2 is not correct headline inflation is a measure of the total inflation within an economy including commodities such as food and energy prices which tend to be much more volatile and prone to inflationary spikes the headline inflation figure is reported through the consumer price index which calculates the cost to purchase a fixed basket of goods to determine how much inflation is occurring in the broad economy hence statement 3 is not correct therefore option d is the correct answer next question is consider the following sites 1 hemis national park ladakh 2 gangotri national park uttarakhand 3 kanchanjunga national park sikkim how many of the above is or are major habitat sites for snow leopard only one only two all three or none the correct answer is option c all three recently kyrgyzstan has officially declared the snow leopard that is panthera yunkia as its national symbol signifying its commitment to conservation and ecological balance snow leopards are vital for ecological balance inhabiting one third of the global territory a decline in their population poses risk to various species the major habitat sites for snow leopard are hemis national park ladakh hence option 1 is correct great himalayan national park himachal pradesh hence option 2 is correct gangotri national park uttarakhand and kanchanjunga national park sikkim hence option 3 is also correct therefore option c is the correct answer next question is which of the following best describes wolf warrior diplomacy often seen in the news historical deal between india and kenya for transfer of wolves from india to kenya two unofficial term for the more aggressive and confrontational style of communication that chinese diplomats have taken it connotes the use of cyber warfare to derail diplomatic relations between the two nations or it refers to manipulating the share market of the enemy country the correct answer is option b an official term for the more aggressive and confrontational style of communication that chinese diplomats have taken a term that gained popularity especially after she became president wolf warrior diplomacy is a tactic for the chinese government to extend its ideology beyond china and counter the west and defend itself it is an unofficial term for the more aggressive and confrontational style of communication that chinese diplomats have taken to in the last decade therefore option b is the correct answer next question is consider the following statements regarding cyclones one cyclones in the bay of bengal are relatively more frequent and intense than those of the arabian sea two bay of bengal typically sees multiple cyclonic events during the tropical cyclone season which is primarily from april to december three bob typically has elevated sea surface temperatures particularly in the pre monsoon and post monsoon periods fueling cyclone development and strengthening how many of the statements given above are not correct only one only two all three or none the correct answer is option d none cyclones in the bay of bengal are relatively more frequent and intense than those of the arabian sea hence statement 1 is correct the bay of bengal typically sees multiple cyclonic events during the tropical cyclone season which is primarily from april to december hence statement 2 is correct the bob usually has higher sea surface temperatures especially during the pre monsoon and post monsoon seasons providing the necessary energy and moisture for cyclone formation and intensification hence statement 3 is correct the convergence of winds in the bob combined with the coriolis force resulting from the earth's rotation creates an environment suitable for cyclone genesis these converging winds form areas of low pressure which can develop into tropical disturbances and cyclones therefore option d is the correct answer next question is regarding the jal jeevan mission consider the following statements 
वन द गोल ऑफ दिस मिशन इज टू प्रोवाइड फिफ्टी फाइव लीटर्स ऑफ वाटर पर पर्सन पर डे टू एवरी रूरल हाउस होल्ड थ्रू फंक्शनल हाउस होल्ड टैप कनेक्शन बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर टू द मिशन अलाउज फॉर टैपिंग इन टू ओनली ग्राउंड वाटर विच इज द लसूने ऑफ दिस मिशन थ्री इट कम्स अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ जल शक्ति हाउ मेनी ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट गिवन अब आर करेक्ट ओनली वन ओनली टू ऑल थ्री ऑल नन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी ओनली टू The goal of this mission is to provide 55 liters of water per person per day to every rural household through functional household tap connections by 2024. Hence statement 1 is correct. The mission allows for tapping into both surface water and ground water focusing on recharge and protection. Hence statement 2 is not correct. It comes under the Ministry of Jal Shakti. Hence statement 3 is correct. Therefore option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following regarding National Food Security Act 2013. When the act legally entitled up to 75 percent of the rural population and 50 percent of the urban population to receive subsidized food grains under targeted public distribution system, to the eldest woman of the household of age 18 years or above is mandated to be the head of the household for the purpose of issuing ration cards under the act. Three, it marks a paradigm shift in the approach to food security from welfare to rights-based approach. How many of the statements given above are correct? Only one, only two, all three, or none? The correct answer is option C, all three. The act legally entitled up to 75 percent of the rural population and 50 percent of the urban population to receive subsidized food grains under targeted public distribution system. Hence, statement one is correct. About two thirds of the population, therefore, is covered under the Act to receive highly subsidized food grains. It encompasses two categories of ration card holders: antyodya, anyojana, and priority households. As a step towards women empowerment, the eldest woman of the household of age 18 years or above is mandated to be the head of the household for the purpose of issuing ration cards under the Act. Hence, statement two is correct. National Food Security Act 2013 marks a paradigm shift in the approach to food security from welfare to rights based approach hence statement 3 is correct therefore option C is the correct answer last question is regarding the swachh sagar surakshit sagar campaign consider the following statements one it is first of its kind and longest running coastal clean up campaign in the world with the highest number of people participating in it Two, a mobile app Umang has been launched to spread awareness about the campaign. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option A, one only. It is the first of its kind and longest running coastal cleanup campaign in the world with the highest number of people participating in it. Hence, statement one is correct. Through this campaign, a mass behavioral change among the masses is intended. by raising awareness about how plastic usage is destroying marine life a mobile app ecomitram has been launched to spread awareness about the campaign and also for the common people for voluntary registration for the beach cleaning activity and statement 2 is not correct therefore option a is the correct answer now it's time for the practice question recently mv kemo pluto and mv sai baba were seen in the news they are satellites launched by isro for sri lanka indigenously developed rice variety by india oil tankers attacked by drones or aircrafts russia gifted to india so that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching